All right, guys. This has actually been a little bit too much fun, so I'm going to do one more 45-minute video before I have to turn in tonight. David is oh, over here. He's about 150 points ahead of me. We're staying even. This is an incredibly competitive game. He's got something like going on back here. Oh. <laughs> we see him now. He's got... This place was the Lumeris HQ that he took out, and then he just has the Riftborn one as well. So this is <laughs> the seventh 45-minute um, game here. And I'm going to start out taking a pretty long turn, because I want to go through and do a couple of things. The main one here is we have these geo-industrial plants now, which we should be putting on all of our places. We can put them there, actually. Um, because they're giving tons of bonus on hot planets. So we can almost go like... Alright. We can reduce ice 10 at the end of this. At the beginning, we'll do our geo-industrials. And then here... All right, we've got our exoscience stations on our two cold planets there. That's fine. Oops. Here, exoscience stations. Cool. Let's check out what the business is here. Get that kind of in queue. Ooh. Well, they were going to be our friends. That's too bad. Alright. Now, this place is full of Horatio. We're colonizing this lava first. Which I'm totally fine with. Okay. Building an AI labor is the way to go. Now, over here... We're colonizing this guy in one turn, which has Molten Springs. Fine thing there. Yeah, and it's Temperate Fertile. Why not switch it up for industrial plants? Also, I'm going to go over here and start getting more adamantium from Oshi. And I think we're going to do this first, as well, this as well. Maybe we do it like this. I think that's right. Now here, back to our main place. This is the one I think is the biggest offender. Geo-industrials, geo-industrials. Reduce the meteor strikes, which will give us plus 10 happiness. Good for geo-industrials. We can finish all that in two turns. And we'll do that guy as well. And then we're gonna actually put stuff into the manpower as well. And finally, we're going to transform this guy into a steps and give it Yeah. Geo-industrials. <laughs> okay. Here. We have colonial exchanges here. But we should definitely be building industrials on all of these. And maybe evolved soils on this one. Here. We've got the cold. We'll build exoscience stations. Here, geo industrials. Oops. Yeah, this is pretty nice pumping up the productions here. And then we just keep moving along, like. This is silly, right? 
We never should have allowed this to happen. Okay. Next, next. And transform this baron to an arctic. That's pretty good. Throw an access science stations in there for a little bit more of something. And then here we'll throw a bit of hot. And they're ecstatic, so we give them this too. Now we're at yeah, Timos. Okay. And then here we have a monsoon that we can undo. And then we need to make geo industrials in all three spaces. Just like this. And there we go. We have plenty of space to expand. So that seems to be the way to go there. Exoscience stations and Reduce psychoactive air. Seems fine. We have a lot of catching up to do there. Now, here we've already got one geo industrial. Let's set up a couple more. And we can put an AI labor in place. This is going to be a great planet. Kalem. Oh yeah, this is the one that we wanted to get a million turns earlier, of course. And they're ecstatic. Have they got anomalies? Yeah, on the lava. So we actually don't need that lava colonized yet. Um, yeah, I think we put it at the end. Oops, I don't want the drone networks or the workers' camps. I want optics research and security ops. Yeah, we'll probably need to colonize the lava around there. Then after that, we have this guy, which we already talked about. Right, and then this guy has got extra science stations already. Okay, we don't have the Eden incense. That's good. It's content. Plus two per person. Yeah, I think we'll do the gravitons. Okay. And then we have actually, like, I'm pretty sure that it will be better to make this trade company here. Oh, 19,000. We'll see. Where else could I put it? Candace and Remor, terrible candidates. Now we've got two places there. Can't terraform the snow. Can't get to toxic.
Orchids and or Calcix. I'll just throw a couple of probes out there. Now it looks like we're done as well. Alright, ending the turn. <sighs> okay. So Xanados is going to be finishing here. They just finished their level 3s, so they should be, yeah, substantially better. There. Okay. So we know that they're full. Yep, we'll move you. Cool. Alright, we're level 13 now. Shield absorption. I think we just keep going like this. Ten. Oh yeah. We'll take plus 20 for sure. What is this? There's like an infinite number of people here? The hive cares a little for the Hi, David. Oh god. Immediately declares war on us. He's not fucking around. Oh, there's his fleet. There's his fleet. It's got 12 ships. It's got 4,000 power. <laughs> Holy crap. Nothing can stand up to that. Eight hundred for the unfallen. <laughs> it's got four thousand power. Greetings. Your hospitality is appreciated. Oh my gosh. All right, all right, all right. So There's like a million pirates running around. With nobody taking care of them. Alright, how big is my fleet? I'm at 2,000 power. That's not terrible. It could definitely be worse. I have very strong science. I have very strong dust. So, let's go through, look at my systems, see who's level 2, and who wants to be 3. You've got 3 in the works. Have a level 3. Canis, have a level 3. Everyone else is level 3. Okay. Now, that means that I can go sell, sell, sell. Hello. You uh, jumped quite a bit there, didn't you, pal? Yeah. Do you want this guy? Hull plating absorption, vision range, hull damage. Oh, that's pretty good. Extra health, ship costs, extra food, happiness. Yeah, we're gonna make you 
Not a general. Actually, we're gonna we're gonna make you versatile. You'll be a versatile. Okay. And now with this, we can go. So we'll go one, two, all right, 7,400 science a turn. This is our stronger fleet. Oh, that's nice. Now these are the ones. That's what they do. That's what they do. I think I'll stay. I don't really want to stay mid range. I want to do one or the other. I think that just running into short range is the way to go. Ah, they just ran. Okay, so what are their guys? They're mixed beams and missiles with a lot of beams. Okay, let's move out here. And pull our guys all to one fleet. Now, one of us, I think you, oh wait, oh, both of these guys knocked off their manpower, so I can't invade two turns at the same time, or two guys at the same time right now, so what I should do is go take him home, refuel his manpower, there we go. And then, oops, and then next turn, I'll take him away, along with this caravel, who can join the fleet. Oh, still got this thing going on. So they keep delivering new population, basically. I'll send this guy down here. Oh, actually, that was silly. He doesn't need to go down there at all. Okay. So now we're making our new trade empire over here. Antimatter approved. Oh. So they got a you got a Terran special planet with tundra Mediterranean ash. Yeah, well, that seems good.
Oh dear. He's coming for my booty. And oh she. I can sense it. Making this authority nervous. Your presence and communication is a sort What is your objective? We have more goddamn fleets showing up constantly. Jesus. Alright, so I wanted to change <clears throat> the stingrays a little bit. Oh, I did already. To be more manpower. So we're gonna heal up. So we have eight here. I missed one stingray. Build the microwave. Jesus. Build the pipes here. Level sixteen. That should mean that he is ready to go out into the world and do his final round stuff. Which is probably this one. The percentage, I think, is going to be even better. Okay, because he's still not on the Senate, right? No. Speaking of... Still no heroes. Okay. Interesting. So we have a ton of these artifacts. We could potentially use them. To uh, unfortunately, it's the overpopulation as opposed to the overcolonization, which is pretty critical difference. Right, I'll just let the ship do that itself. Okay, okay, okay. So we got to be continuing to make sure that we're using things optimally here. Three turns till both of those. Whew. All right. constantly getting stuff shoved down our throats here. So after this, I think that the clear thing we're going to need to do is get better modules. So this one's pretty good. I also want the manpower module, maybe for later. Um, and then I want both fleet modules. I'm going to start with that one. The hunter here. Oops, sorry. This is the chance to be targeted. Got it. Yeah, so I want both of these modules, and then I'm going to upgrade this one. This fleet here should probably go defend here, but only if I can seriously. deal with David. Oh, I'm so scared. So he's been working on new strategies for the Cravers. And <laughs> they're terrifying. They're just terrifying. 
Alright, so I'm up to devoted. Did I did my science go down somehow? Oh, I love that plus one thousand. So plus two thousand with the research park and devoted. Pretty good. So we could easily capture more of these guys. Um but then I think I would lose devoted, so I'm not going to do it because it'll do minus 10 in all my places. But this will give plus 20 actually, so I might be able to do a, uh, an absorption next turn. Which of these are the best? Jungle Mediterranean Terran Terran. Holy shit! James needs. I need this. What was the assimilation? Destroy the mercenary fleet? Whatever. I don't need to do that. This is going perfectly over here. <sighs> so, taking a step back, like there's so much stuff we haven't done yet, right? Like we have barely started scratching the surface of the military, um, but we're doing really well on our trade routes. We just have we have three more companies to build. Oh, and we've unlocked this. and we're going to do more Jadonics for sure because we want to go for the wonder victory. That's my goal here. All right. So let's do it like that. And let's do it like that for those two places. Over here, we can put it right there. One of these at the back. And this is awesome. So that's going to give us plus 100 science, plus 100 dust in every system. Cool. Yeah, we're probably not generating more than, yeah, four of these guys right now until it enters our trade network. So we definitely want it to enter that trade network. But even just having it on these places... Although you know, spending three turns... Nah, it'll give the extra Jade Onyx as well. So triple Jade Onyx means plus... yeah, plus so many. Um, we also want to think about, like as we're going up, first of all, this increasing warp speed is huge. It's such a good one. Um, and I mentioned before about this increased pop on sterile, but I don't like that one as much as the pop on fertile, because we're actually going to be terraforming our stuff away from sterile. So like this climate engineering, yeah. And the Kelvin Sciences, which is the Fleet Movement Points one on Quadrinex. Plus five per person per strategic resource on planets. It's kind of cool. And then we have Wealth of the Endless. And that sounds like something we need. Oh, and it only costs 93,000. Alright, so what have we got here? 100 per system level, 10 per strategic deposit. This is 3 per planet. So these guys also give extra troop damage, a huge amount of percentage um, industry per planet. So we've got interspecies HR as well. Okay, well, at least we started bringing them down. Come on. Right, 
so you're level 7. What type are you? You're religious, you're never going to be on the Senate. But giving percentage? Nah. I think just giving your science is plenty. I kind of want to build this. 200% star system trade value. Would be a decent one to have in play any, that's for sure. Play all. Alright, so this is my best fleet. It's 2,500. No sign of David yet. With my place now, I'm devoted. I think I will assimilate this guy. Immediately start leveling him up. Here we have steps, toxic snow with dust trees. Huh. But I think, yeah, I'm already plenty uh, occupied. Rain after drought, your presence is always welcomed by. So here, the other thing that I should be thinking about is this. And like I can get alliances really fast right now. Wow. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. Okay, and what's the one that gives plus two on strategics? Yeah, this one, the mines. We're gonna wanna do that. 41,000, so we have a little bit of ways to go. On the other stuff. Okay, this is our best one. We're going to level up this guy as quickly as we can. Oh, David's waiting for us. Oh, so they have a serious <laughs> amount of manpower in this place. So we need some kind of sapper that's going to be better than what we currently have. I'll think about that next turn. I've got some time. But yeah. This is not sustainable like this. down, but David's about to start taking my places. 
Survival Stutes also finished. More Kalth Kicks. Probably ten Nahasts. Little by little. Oh no. Oh no. Why? Don't do that, man. Yeah? Why are you knocking around? Come on. Come on. Right. We're not inviting you in See? You're my boys. I knew you wouldn't do that to me. So, building up this stuff right away um, is about the best thing that you can do in the in the early part of the game. All right, the, when you conquer a place that already has a bunch of a bunch of stuff in it. All right, so we're just gonna keep. Doing this. Now we see all their places. Ugh, our Craver's hero. Our sweet, sweet Craver's hero. Alright, and now we can really just be like pumping out the luxury sales. Like. There's 39k, and we just can't be scared at all to like finish this trade headquarters, and then yeah, we have nine there, nine there, nine there. So let's take our best two, which are one, two go like that. And we're going to keep doing this basically every turn. <sighs> Getting stressful. Alright, so upgrading our systems over here. That's really good. Then we'll upgrade on a per system level. I think this place has the highest total culture. Oops, let's not futz around. It's either here or Pliny. Yeah. It's going to be Galther having the highest culture. So. We can do that, get them closer to ecstatic. And now for Oshi. Okay. And I built that miners union way later than I actually wanted to build because I wanted it to build right away. <laughs> it's pretty much the best thing that can be happening here. Okay. So. 106%. Okay, so 500, that's a decent start. So 11 ships, 68,000 health. That means he's using, yeah, 5,000 health on each hornet. His tardigrades, oh, so this is David's new strategy. He uses the special craver shield that gives a percent bonus to health and he creates these ships. He's got 13 move speed. 
Oh, this is terrible. Yep. I'm definitely in danger. Big danger. I really don't want to lose this place either. It's so important for my adamantine production. I might have to go to... I don't know. Do something with somebody. <sighs> but like... Yeah. Plus 50 damage against infantry troops sound pretty good. I'm going to take my strategics here. I buy 10 of those. Then I can actually do that this turn. I had a bit more cash, which doesn't sound like it should be. Oh yeah, actually it is hard. Oh wait, never mind. I have titanium. Although generally I try not to sell strategics. I'm gonna use all of those. Okay. And then there should be a couple of planets like over here that are now colonizable. Hello. There we are. Just a little bit of lag. Lag. Okay, this stuff is getting pulled in nicely. Yep. We're up to 8,000 per turn, so we're accelerating. And soon, 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 we should be at the point where we can just buy and sell anything we want. look at some of the, yeah, so like things like this, if it doesn't push us back, and yeah, it shouldn't, we should just grab all of these techs that we missed. Okay, not this one. That we missed in the earlier stages. Approval still looking okay. We're looking okay. But we have to make some headway on these cravers. I'm not sure how to do it right now. Oh yeah, I know what I wanted to do. So we have to take our protector class, our Velms. And here's how we're going to do this. We have a base move of four, so we're going to put some shields on them, one little weapon. Uh, they should never be fighting, so let's just put it right there. And then we want a tugboat. And the tugboat is going to look not like the Velm class. It's going to look like this. And so what we can do here is we can take
That's David. Oh, time again. Looks like time. Oh, all right. Oh, so guys, looks like that's time for tonight. We just got through a few more turns. It's turn 75. We're about to go crazy. Plus 9,000 gold a turn. <sighs> this is getting really saucy, to say the least. Okay, we got our two new colonies, our botanical scanning, new trading company, a new pal. Yep. All right, we'll start that again at the beginning of the next video. I know David wants to head out. It's pretty late. See you guys later. Next time, we're going to get him. It's going to really begin. We're going to start clashing heads. This is going to be so much fun. <laughs>